here to talk about uh, real-time ray tracing for interactive global illumination workflows in Frostbite. Uh, in this talk, first I will um, talk a bit about the context and uh, the current workflows we have. And then I will describe how we implemented the GI Live Preview technology in Frostbite uh, using DirectX 12, DXR, APIs, uh, and first on NVIDIA RTX technology. Uh, so a bit of context, uh, Frostbite is the EA game engine, uh, the one engine that uh, empowers all those games you see here. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of different uh, kind of games. Uh, so Flux is a pass tracer, as I said. Uh, CPU uh, baking of the global illumination data is achieved using uh, Intel Ambry for the ray tracing side. And um, incredible to distribute uh, the workload on different stations. And so a few uh, results uh, about Flux. You can see here uh, Heinz Field uh, Stadium from Pitt Pittsburgh uh, in Madden. On the left, you have a direct light and indirect light baked, uh, visualized on, on, on the, the stadium. And on the right, you have the final result in game. Uh, here is the uh, screenshot from FIFA uh, of the Etihad Stadium. Uh, and you can see again on the left, only GI bound in this case, uh, and then the result in game uh, at dusk time. A few more uh, about Star Wars Battlefront 2. Here we visualize a light map on proxy meshes that we use when we uh, retrace uh, the scene to generate the light maps. Uh, this is the same scene, but with uh, the final meshes used in game with normal map applied. Uh, and here you can see with uh, the sun, the direct light from the sun, uh, which is the main contributor uh, to global uh, illumination in this scene. And that's the final result uh, with everything applied as you can see it in game in the end. So what about uh, the workflow? What does uh, artists have to do to obtain those results? First, uh, they have to open our editor called Trusted. And if it's a new level, they have to start from scratch. Uh, otherwise, they will have the previous GI visible in here. Then they have to author the scene, move the light, move uh, meshes, what they, what did they do what they want to achieve, basically. And then they should start a baking process, uh, which can take between like from a few minutes to hours, of course, depending on the quality you want. Then you check the result. Okay, that's how it is. Maybe that's how, how it is. You, that's what you wanted to achieve. Uh, awesome, great. Next task, or you can have a coffee. Uh, and if not, well, rinse and repeat. You go back to the start and iterate. So, of course, uh, we did try uh, CPU GI preview with what uh, Flux was providing at the time, uh, but that was too slow for our constraints. So you step back. Uh, and think about the problem. Uh, what you want to do is evaluate irradiance. Uh, if you consider light maps, what you want to do is consider uh, evaluate irradiance for each texel. And for that, you can use uh, path tracing. As, um, and you have to, using path tracing, you have to in integrate irradiance over the hemisphere. And that is, uh, if you think about it, that's a massively uh, parallel problem. Each light map texel is independent. Each path for each texel is independent. So that sounds like a perfect fit for GPUs, of course. And then, of course, one array is not enough. You have to integrate multiple of them. And that can be done using Monte Carlo integration. Um, and of course, the more array you, you cast, the, more, uh, the better you will converge toward the, the real solution of the irradiance for each texel. And so that seems like a good uh, solution for preview. You start with a rough estimate, and then you converge uh, progressively toward the right solution. Yeah. So that's what we uh, then aimed to do. Uh, basically, a flux uh, as a functional prototype working, uh, like running on GPU using the DXR API, and uh, first on NVIDIA RTX technology, because they, they gave us access to early drivers. Uh, for GI preview. Uh, 